Hi folks, this is going to be uh, part three of the intercalation uh, series and I'm going to start with a little update from uh, yesterday's video. Uh, the first thing is I took the cell apart yesterday that we tested at the end and uh, as you can see on here there's a see this dark line going across the uh, electrode there. Well that corresponds with this piece of the end of this uh, electrode here where I have a piece of copper folded over on top of the graph oil too. But anyway, so what happened was that cell shorted out right there. and It was a slow short that, that developed over time obviously. So uh, <coughs> now the next thing is I took this piece of paper uh, yesterday and I took a, a drop of our interclated uh, graphite and I rubbed it into the paper and I let that dry overnight and then this morning I, I painted on another layer of just regular graphite let that dry and then I buffed it with this uh, cotton ball here and I want to show you what the, the resistance is on that now the best I got before, which was getting pretty good, I got had it down to a, around a 250 or something like that. And now I've got it on the on the 200 ohm setting, and yeah, there's 114, but I got it better than that on here. It's inconsistent because of the. I don't know where I put everything. There's 75 right there. Okay, but you can see that we're, I've got it down below uh, 67 is the lowest I've got it. And I did that real quick with just a cotton ball. So um, <coughs> anyway, so uh, that has potential right there. Uh, just put a better coat of the interplated graphite on there first and uh, do a better job of this and you can get this down here real small and then you got a then you got a nice uh, paper battery potential right there all right uh, now the next thing i wanted to show you was i took uh, a couple drops of the uh, interplated graphite and i stirred it into some water here and we're going to do a little sediment test on it because the graphite uh, well doesn't dissolve in water it just goes into suspension and uh, then it settles out slowly. So I'm gonna, if this has, is this, uh, if it's interclated and we rehydrate it in here in water and it, and it separates into some graphene, then it'll stay into solution um, a lot longer. Alrighty, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, it's been a couple hours since I stirred these uh, two solutions up and you probably can't see it from the straight on down on it but if I lift them up like this and look through the side of them uh, there isn't a huge uh, difference um, uh, the graphite's mostly settled out this is a little bit darker though and considering that I only put in a few drops and it's a larger quantity of water I, I think there's uh, there's definitely some uh, either uh, single sheet graphene or double or triple sheets or something in there. But um, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and sonicate this one here uh, for 10 minutes or so, and uh, then I'll come back and do the uh, do the experiment again, and we'll see. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I've uh, sonicated this uh, solution here for 15 minutes and we're going to swirl it all up and, and swirl the uh, graphite all up and check it again in a couple hours and see uh, how they compare. Alright, and while we're waiting for that, I've got a little bit of uh, the, the uh, interclated uh, graphite in this little beaker here and I'm going to go throw that in the microwave and microwave it and then, uh, then see what that turns out like. I'll be back. I'm back with the <coughs> graphite that I uh, that I uh, nuked out there for uh, about 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes 
I uh, did it <coughs> a minute at a time and I watched it the whole time and uh, the first uh, few minutes uh, it, it really didn't do anything it just gave off some steam as it was drying out more and uh, then I see and then it started to light up a little bit <coughs> and the drier it got the more it lit up but uh, you could also smell um, the phosphates uh, burning off of it so I don't think that using a microwave is going to be uh, really good for this unless you get it dry first and then that might work uh, pretty well but uh, we're going to test the conductivity of it and you can see it's about 250, 240 two, so, and that's about what this graphite is here uh, before you uh, without doing anything to it so uh, the conductivity is about the same <coughs> Now, uh, this is now, it's been, I don't know, 45 minutes or so since I uh, stirred these things up. And looking at them from the, from the side, uh, I can see uh, uh, definitely uh, this is darker than that one. But we'll see what happens after, we give it another hour or so to settle out some more. But uh, uh, after uh, sonicating this, I, I think we uh, did... Uh, exfoliate that better and, th and this process is supposed to work with best with water all right I'll be back all right I'm back and I uh, <clears throat> what I've got here is I took that uh, little bit of uh, interclated uh, graphite that I microwaved and I poured some uh, distilled water down in there and I uh, with a stir and I got as much as I could to uh, to uh, dissolve in there or disperse in there and I'm going to compare that to this too um, but uh, I can see it's it's been less than two hours still but uh, I can see from this one this is pretty much a lot of it settled out already and this one is not so we're definitely getting some exfoliation by by uh, put it in water and sonicate it all right, I'm back with another battery build now, and uh, what we're going to do different on this battery is I'm encasing the trisodium phosphate in a uh, PVA structure on the on a paper membrane. So in essence, we're going to have two two membranes on this now. Uh, so we have the titanium dioxide thin film membrane on the zinc, and then we have t uh, trisodium phosphate. Uh, in PVA on the uh, on this membrane here, and uh, we'll see how that goes. It's going to add in, add uh, some more uh, resistance going through the PVA, but it's also adding more structured materials and keeping and controlling the the reaction between the trisodium phosphate and the uh, phosphoric acid. That's, that's what I think anyway. So I've already got uh, the uh, phosphoric acid. Uh, interclated graphite on layer on this already so all we have to do is paint some regular graphite on there which I've got right here alrighty we have 110 111 and climbing that's nice we'd rather see it climbing than dropping alright so 113 we're going at 14 Still climbing fast too. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Yeah, looking good. There's one nineteen. So we'll just start it at 120, I guess. Looks like it's slowing down. It's going to stop somewhere around in there. Alright. So let's just do it right there. Now we're on the 10 amp uh, scale here, so it's going to be in points. And I can't see that very good personally. The sun's in my eyes here. Alright, so here we go. 3, 2, 1, 3, 4, 3. 3, 9, then 4, 3. All right, so we got 430 right off of that on the first move at uh, about 120. All right, I'll be well. Look at that; we're already back up to one 115. 
climbing a little slower, but that's what usually happens. All right, let's just give it a, a minute or two right here, and I'll be back. All right, it didn't climb any higher than that. As a matter of fact, it's starting to lose a little bit of, of voltage. We're at 113.7 and 6 and dropping. So here we got amps are 3, 2, 1, 4, 6, 5, 6. Went up to 560 milliamps. All right. All right. I'll be back. We'll see what happens again. All right. Again, it's it dropped some more voltage, and but got there real quick, and now it's it's uh, 110.3. All right, and we'll see what our amps are. Three, two, one, five. Ooh. <laughs> Four something five three five eight I think. All right, so I'll just leave it on there so you can see. You see, it's already back to one six seven, and it's probably this time it's going to stop at about one oh eight. All right, I'm back again. Yes, that's this is like twenty uh, twenty three or twenty four cycles now. And see, we took the we took the cell apart right here. To give it a little bit of graphite and water again, and it went in it, it went through the same cycle. It, was, it was, went up, the voltage went up, and then it dropped off again as the amps climbed again. So it goes through this this cycling thing here. Uh, there's extra water in it. What the, what I think is happening is we have when you first make the cell, there's a lot of free water in it, and the battery uses that up first, and that drops the voltage down to a point where it dries out and gets whatever the uh, electro potential of the, the cell is, which is one volt. Because that's, and so and then our, our amps climbed as the voltage went down and as the cell structured and started switching over to the structured water, amps uh, started climbing again. And then we tore it apart and we went through the, the same thing again. So um, it looks like uh, this is uh, we're leaning towards solid state again now because you don't have to worry too much about the the water. If I can increase the amount of PVA without insulating it so much and dropping the the the, uh, the performance down, uh, then we could get a, uh, a a stronger cell. But now is uh, we've got a two-stage uh, thin film separator. So we've got one on the, the zinc here with uh, PVA and borax and then we have one here this one was t uh, trisodium phosphate and um, and PVA now with it, when I really need the borax in here too so the next one the battery I'll do I'll add uh, we'll use the trisodium phosphate and borax here in this middle one here and uh, and see what that does to alright I'm back with a wrap up here and uh, overall, the cell tested pretty good today. I mean, it self-charged uh, fast. Uh, it reached its uh, peak power early, and uh, it produced uh, consistent high power through 23 cycles, and uh, without uh, major suffering from uh, water deprivation. So, I, I think that's uh, I think that's pretty good. So uh, now we're going to. Uh, we're going to see if we can take the cell apart or we'll see whether it's dried out so much that uh, we can't get it apart. And uh, it looks like it's going to come apart, at least it feels initially like it is. And it does. Alright, look at that. So that's a good thing. That means you, we can take it apart and clean it easier. So positive comes off easy and our separator even comes off. Look at that. Nice, and we don't. Uh, I don't see any bleed through on there at all. That looks pretty good. Okay. So, I think that's all I'm going to have time for on this video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments. Uh, likes. I'll see you next time.